2024 U Sports Men's National Hockey Championship. It's the second quarterfinal match here today between the TMU Bold and the Calgary Dinos. Pass in front to Portacalis with a backhand and a great save there by Ted Jordan. Nurse has got a great chance to cut towards the net and a great save there. You know, having the heartbreak of that UQTR game of, you know, coming up short and double overtime, you know, we knew the margin for error is so small, but, you know, we felt confident that, like, in the UQTR game, in the Brock series, like, we had played really well and we had done a lot of really good things and, you know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, there was a different ending in the script going into that game against Calgary. John Strange, pass over, they take a shot, look at the deflection, they score! The Calgary Dinos get out to a great start here, just under five minutes into the first period. If you don't believe in yourself and in your team, then you're not gonna have the outcome you want. So we all have that belief. We all believe in one another and we're working towards a common goal. And I think that's what helps us uh, like stay up in the moments when other teams could fold. Nice pass over for Playfair as he comes in stride. Chris Playfair stops off, back up high. Wells with the shot, they score! The TMU Bold have tied this game up at one. Having that response kind of in that game and all throughout playoffs, um, you know, the team just really stuck together and, and you know, we have a lot of belief in our, in our dressing room that we'll always find a way to get ourselves back in the game. Hey boys, hey, that's a great first period. Did a lot of really good things and as the period went on, we started to take it to these guys. Pedal to the metal, make the adjustment in the D zone. Let's be a little bit quicker with the puck. Let's go have another 20 just like that, White. Let's go. A little bit of room. Stops up, drops it off. Here's for Gorov. A nice move and a great save by Tenichuk as we got a ton of bodies out in front once again. Come on, boys, keep putting it to the net. Crash the net. Take it to the net. Let's bear down on our chances. Arden Kuda stops up, lays it over for Danil Gregorov. A nice move and a great block there. Five seconds left to go. Wells up high. Gregorov takes a shot, can't get it through. And we still have a one to one game. Based on both these teams' past with overtime and things like that, I, I, I think they want this game to end this period. I don't think anybody wants to go to overtime. No pass in the slot. Grissius with a great chance. Great save by Kai Edmonds. You know, once again, Kai Edmonds was absolutely fantastic. And, you know, he played the way he's capable of, which gives the group confidence. When you know that, you know, Kai's behind you and he's going to make a big save. You know, you can play your game, you can play with your game with confidence. This game going to overtime, it's a one-to-one -one score between the TMU Bulls and the Calgary Dinos. Coming in after the third period, I think we all thought about that Queen's Cup game, but rather than having it, you know, turn into doubt, I think it turned into motivation. Obviously, there's always the the little devil on your shoulder, but I think we, we felt really confident that we were doing a lot of really good things. One to one is the score. The game will end up being two to one in the end, but who will be the winner? I felt like our room was confident. Didn't seem like anybody was too tense, and, and I don't know if that's because we just played in, in double overtime, uh, you know, the weekend prior or what, but I think we learned from our mistakes in that one and just had a ton of belief in each other that we would, we would find that next goal, and, you know, we just refused to be denied. Here's Gallagher, takes a shot, and he scores! Carson Gallagher, the OT winner, and the TMU Bold move on to the semifinals. And the roof comes off of the Mattamy Athletic Center. No one is in their seats at the moment. It couldn't have been a better guy to score the goal. I mean, he was one of our hardest working players, one of our best four checkers in the latter half of the season. And the week before, we had been on the losing end of a, of a double overtime game. And to watch that go in and to hop the boards and to rush at Galley and to have Kai come in, who had a phenomenal game, it was great to just get together and know that we were going to be in the tournament to go for a national medal. We had gone down there early in September and you know, kind of got our butts kicked a little bit and, you know, felt that that experience, you know, would ultimately help us in the end. We have the UMD Reds 
lossless throughout the entire 2024 season. We have the TMU Bull, the number four seed. Potentially the biggest game in TMU history is underway between the Bulls and the UMD Reds. Let's see how this game will go. Yeah, I mean, we just didn't have our best that, that night. We didn't have our legs. And um, when you don't have your legs against a team like that, it's, gonna, it's not going to turn out well for you every time. Chance for the Reds, and they score! One more up high. Wilkes across, and they score! That takes a long shot. They score! Hammerer takes a shot with deflection out front. Reds, Cameron blows a tire. Keating in the slot. What a bang, bang! Reds, an absolutely stellar performance here at the Manatee Athletic Center against the TMU Bulls. They will be off to the final two of the U Cup. You know, obviously Stings boys, you know, they've been doing that to teams all season long. They were really good today and, and we just weren't good. You know, we just didn't have it today. First period, we come out, we get out shot 24 to 3. You know, Go out in the third challenge us to go out and like play hard and we give up a easy breakaway tuck to start the period like we just weren't good flat out start to finish they're really good they've been doing that to teams all year but like we weren't good tonight like we didn't test them and play the way we're capable of frustrating you know i feel for you guys you guys have fought hard all year you know, we were in this position two years ago in Halifax. It's obviously a, a, a tough moment to, to turn the page, you know, but we've got an opportunity tomorrow to get our first ever medal at the national tournament. You know, it stung when we lost to St. FX in overtime last year, two years ago. We got a, a silver medal in the OUA, one better than the bronze that was our program best. We've got an opportunity tomorrow against McGill or UQTR to, to get a bronze medal at the national level. You know, it, it seems like consolation at this time, but it'll feel real special tomorrow. We can come out here, come together one more time as a group and find a way to win a hockey game. That's part of the game of hockey. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs. You know, you can't let a win get to your head and you can't let a loss get to your heart. So no matter what, what the circumstances are, you just show up the next day and you get back to work. Looking for a deflection, Porticalis, back door, they scored! It's the opening goal of the game, two and a half minutes into the first period. Elijah Roberts gets on the board. We knew that was going to be his last hockey game, so him scoring that goal, um, you know, we know it meant a lot to him, and you know, as his friends, it meant a lot, you know, for everybody. Nice move by Playfair, shot by Doherty, he scores! Jackson Doherty, an absolute snipe, top left corner, and the TMU Bolts have a 2-1 lead. Certainly in the third period, you started to see that fatigue set in, and you know, when fatigue sets in, you start to make mental mistakes, and. You know, ultimately, like two mental mistakes, both ended up in the back of our net. Puck is up, they score! The kill ties the game up at two. It's Brandon Frateroli with just under six minutes left to go. Walford. Pass across, and it's a beautiful goal for the McGill Redbirds. With 1.21 left to go. It was a wave of emotions um, that we went through about everything that hockey has to offer, but in the end, I hope that, that everyone can take it as a learning curve. You know, we want to be Queen's Cup champs. We want to win a national championship. You know, we, we came up short, really proud of the guys. It was a historic season, the best season in program history, um, but we're certainly not satisfied. You know, we, we know what this group is capable of and, you know, we're going to keep pushing and, until we reach that ultimate goal. 
This is one of the tightest knit groups that I've been a part of and I think that the success that this program has had just in my time being here has, has been because of how tight knit our group is and because we came together as a family and I think just in team sport I think that that's such a huge piece and taking, it, taking those lessons on later into life is, is something that I'll definitely value. We had a great year to play on the last day of the OUA season, the last day of uh, the U Sports men's hockey season. Like those are accomplishments, but we still have things to prove. Fourth in the country is not number one in the country and we're a motivated group and we all want to be the best and you know, win that championship. So for us, it's just come back next year and do it all over again. And that's the beauty of being a coach is you get to learn a new group and go through the growing pains. But at the end of the day, um, as well as we did and I'm proud of the guys and I'm happy we we can do better and we can do more and I think that's what pushes you every day to just come in and continue to put the work in. We reached new heights and we achieved things that no team has achieved before at this school um, so we use that as momentum right like now every time you reach a new level that's the expectation so now we're finishing top four in the country. That's the expectation. Next year, how do we exceed that? What things do we need to add? What things do we need to do differently to make sure that we're getting to that level and doing better? Um, but it's positive momentum, right? Like this is a good hockey program that we have at our school. We're all fortunate to be here and we want to leave it better than when we found it. So we just keep taking steps forward. We keep creating a, a positive culture in here, keep bringing guys in that fit the culture and fit the mold. And uh, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that this school will continue to perform better and better year after year.